Hey, how you doing everybody? It's your boy Nick Ruiz. Back again with another video on this WWE channel. Um, today's video, uh, I got something special for you guys. Today's video is going to be a bit long. So, I advise you to go get um, a snack or go get a nice cold beverage and sit back and relax because this video is going to be really long. Um, today's video, I got my personal WWE 2K22 wish list and a bit of a spoiler alert a lot of the things on this list will be things that are on a ton of people's list but that says something doesn't it? shouldn't that let 2k know that they need to seriously put these things in the game come 2k22 i think uh they need to seriously take this serious and put these things that i'm about to say in the game but just a note before we get into this that I know some of these things are on everyone else's wish list, uh, but just bear with me, all right? I have some different ideas, so without further ado, let's get into my WWE 2K22 wish list. Quick thing to note, um, I know 2K with the whole um, Ukes thing and Ukes leaving them, it left them in a crappy place and they had to rebuild all the data from scratch. I understand that, okay? And that's why I'm giving you guys the benefit of the doubt. Um, and I think you guys do deserve a year off. So it's good that you guys canceled 2K21. Um, and I know you guys are doing WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Um, that's fine and dandy. But that's more of a thing where you just sort of make it pretty fast and then people buy it. Um, you guys have an extra year to make WWE 2K22 the best WWE game we've ever played. And I have high expectations for WWE 2K22. There should be no excuses come WWE 2K22. Because you guys got this year off. And I know a uh, fellow uh, WWE 2K dev, um, Patrick Gilmore, he did get all the information from us a couple months ago. When the community um, ideas thread was posted and people said what they wanted to be in the game, be in the game. And GM mode was at the top of the list. So, um, yeah, man, I have big expectations for WWE 2K22. But speaking of GM mode, that's the first thing on my list. Um, and obviously, um, why wouldn't it be the first thing on my list? I'm pretty sure it's first on every single person's list. Um, and rightfully so. We haven't had this mode since SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, which now it's been over a decade um, 12 years to be exact, since we've had SmackDown vs. Raw um, 2008 GM mode in the game. And 2K, I know you guys hear us, we definitely miss this game. I mean, just like I said a moment ago, the community thread showed how much we miss GM mode. And it should definitely 1000% return in WWE 2K22. But, I have a different opinion about this, okay? Um, a lot of people believe that this mode should return as a whole uh, mode itself, and that is a good idea, but let me just tell you why it shouldn't return as a whole mode, okay? If it returns as its own mode, Universe Mode will ultimately be dead, okay? Universe Mode is on life support. Let's not um, lie about this stuff. Yes, you guys added a few minor changes last year in 2K20. For example, you guys went from like 7 or 8 matches on a pay-per-view to 14, which I loved. Um, but let's face it, Universe Mode still has a bunch of problems that need to be um, worked on. And instead of having GM Mode be its whole entire mode, I suggest combining Universe Mode and GM Mode and making it one big super mode, if that makes any sense. And um, instead of wasting data and having GM Mode you know be its own mode add it in universe mode and add gm mode elements and features into universe mode because let's face it universe mode needs a a massive overhaul and what better way to do that than to put gm mode features in it okay i'm talking the draft i'm talking general managers and authority figures um and you could even do like 2016 the brand extension when on wwe tv they had on raw uh, Stephen McMahon and Mick Foley running Raw, and then on SmackDown they had Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan, or you can just have one authority figure, 
and then you can choose whether that authority figure like Triple H is involved in the storyline and then um, you can manage contracts, ratings, um, show reviews, sponsors, uh, money management, um, you know, managing superstars, making sure superstars don't get injured, making sure superstars are happy and get what they want. Um, you know what I mean. Things like that, man. And this would make Universe Mode so much better. And just call it My GM Universe or My Universe GM Mode, okay? Because, um, let's face it, like I said, Universe Mode is in a really bad spot. So let's just combine these two modes and just add the features in the Universe Mode. And also, another thing, the draft, definitely. You definitely need the draft. And then every, like, couple weeks or months, have Mr. McMahon check up on you. And, you know, it's the ideas are endless and the options are endless. That's why I want this to happen. And I think it will happen. So, number one on my list is bringing back GM mode and combining it with universe mode and call it My GM Universe. Next up on my list is another thing that I know is on everyone else's list, but again, it has to be said. And there should be proof that 2K needs to listen to us. Because if it's on everyone's wish list, uh, you should give it to us. Um, the next thing on my list is bringing back the old match types, okay? These involve three stages of hell, I quit matches, casket matches, buried alive matches, inferno matches, and uh, I don't know if you all remember this one. This was in like Smackdown vs. Raw 2006 and 2007, I believe. I may be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong. But there used to be this match called Slobberknocker, okay? And basically what it was is you picked a wrestler and you faced, like, I don't know, you faced the whole roster pretty much and you had to beat every superstar one by one until there was no one left in the game to beat. Um, is it crazy? Yeah. Uh, does it make sense? Not really. But, again, why not add it back? It would be such a good and little addition that would make a big um difference and uh also war games now i don't know how um they are going to bring in war games on current gen consoles uh this might have to wait till next gen which i don't even know if 2k22 will be on next gen at this point uh, i heard rumors of them not being on next gen um but honestly and also 2k just have 2k22 on next gen please it wouldn't make sense for 2K22 to not be on the next gen consoles because once everyone has a PS5 and a new Xbox no one's going back to current gen so just release it for the PS5 please just trust me man it'll be better in the long run um, and uh, then you could add things like war games on next gen uh, another match type first blood and the uh, best match type in any WWE game ever, special guest referee, obviously. Um, all those memories of um, bringing back uh, and backstabbing your friend, giving him a fast count while you're the referee. Bring back so many memories, man. So please add these matches into the game. Next up on my list, make my career less corny, okay? Um, I haven't even touched this mode this year, but I have watched some popular... Um, WWE YouTubers play this um, mode and let me just tell you I saw a couple cutscenes and it legit made me want to go to the eyewash center and you know the little eyewash center in science class in 10th grade in your science lab classroom and maybe want to go to that sink and just wash my eyes out and unclog my brain and get rid of that memory um there's a cutscene where the two main characters are getting bullied by the wrestlers and Brooklyn Von Bon in the cafeteria, and it was just so corny, man. I wanted to wash my eyes out with the eye wash in 10th grade science class. Um, it just made me so bored. And then on top of that, the graphics in that cutscene especially looked like it was made on the PS2. And look, that makes it sound like I'm crapping over the PS2. I'm not crapping all over the PS2. The best wrestling game ever, Here Comes the Pain, came out on the PS2. And those graphics were great. But I'm talking about like in 2020, in the year 2020, uh, PS2 graphics are 
um, unacceptable and that's exactly what it looked like in the my career especially so please um, and also um, WB2K I play NBA 2K on my main channel uh, and I know that my career isn't the best but you guys should look into their my career and see how they do it to help you guys with your my career um, series because um, theirs might not be the best, but the NBA 2K my career um, storyline is just 10 times better. You guys could use some pointers for them. Um, so yeah, please, number three on my list, make my career less corny. Make the storyline make sense. Um, just go back to like when you had to be in NXT and work your way up to the main roster or something like that you know what I'm saying make it feel real like in real life make it like the real rookie experience in real life or maybe start on the indies and then go to NXT whatever anything that we didn't get in 2K20 basically I'd like and I don't even like my career to be honest and especially in WWE 2K I hate it but you know I know there's a lot of people who play my career so fix it it's that simple Next up, um, 2K, we need to talk. It's time to take out the 2K showcase mode. And I know you probably don't want to hear this, but let's be honest, man. Let's not lie. The reason, one of the reasons why the game hasn't improved and why 2K20 was so mediocre is because you guys had to take time, especially after Ukes left, you guys had to take time and you had to work on 2K showcase when... All that work that went to 2K Showcase could easily have went to Universe Mode in my career. And also, there's this thing called the WWE Network where you can get pay-per-views, um, storylines, promos, matches. You can watch all that stuff. You can even watch stuff from WCW and ECW. And, you know, like, and I know why the 2K Showcase is in the game. It's for casuals. But at this point, I don't think anyone is trying to see old matches and storylines and rivalries from years ago okay um we're in the information age um we've moved on from that okay it's time to start mo uh working on the main modes which should be my gm universe the online modes and my career okay i guarantee you take out 2k showcase the other modes will be 10 times better it's just the truth man like if i want to see I don't know, for example, the Nexus Invasion, I can just go on the WWE Network, you guys don't have to make it a storyline in WWE 2K, you don't have to do that, it's it's nine ninety nine a month, like, come on, uh, and I'm not sponsored by WWE, I'm just saying, man, so, number four on my list, please, take 2K Showcase out, this will help you, um, this will just help you with the other content in the game, next up on my list is, uh, uh, much like the last one, focus less on 2K Originals again. Um, unlike Showcase, I actually have respect for this mode because um, you guys at 2K actually put seasonal content into this mode. And, you know, I'm not even a fan of this mode. I I don't touch it. The only time I touched it was to unlock the Fiend Bray Wyatt to use him. But that's because you have to unlock him in the 2K Originals, so I had to play it. But again, I do appreciate that you guys put content into that mode. It's just, I need you guys to put that same energy levels and that same amount of content into the other modes, like My GM Universe, uh, My Career, and another mode that I'll be mentioning later in depth, okay? Uh, next up on my list, um, 2K, when are we going to be done with the in-game uh, real-life superstar renders? Um, there's a big problem in 2K20 with the renders, and it's all in-game renders, so it kind of looks like plastic, and it just looks bad, and oh my god, when you try to use a custom attire on a superstar, and you use him, like, in universe mode, when you go to the match selection screen, and the match pose screen, like, let's say Randy Orton and Big Show, like, right here, are having a match, and on Rather Show in the match screen, if I want to use this attire on Randy Orton right now, it'll look so ugly in the match screen, okay? For some reason, okay, when you pick a custom attire and it appears on the match screen, like, the player shrinks, like, two inches from its original body 
or whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about, and it just looks ugly. Um, just it makes me, you know, cringe a little bit. So, I suggest bringing back in real life character renders. Like, stop using the in game clay texture models, just use the real life renders like back in the day, okay? Please, man, please. And for my last thing on my list of for my WW2K22 wish list, um, you know, I've noticed a pattern ever since WW2K went to next gen, which is now current gen. Um, after 2K15, you guys would slowly bring back certain creation sweet modes that you guys took out in 2K15 because you guys didn't have the data to put it in the game. Um, you guys brought everything back except these two particular modes, okay? People already know where I'm going with this. Hardcore gamers know what I'm about to say, okay? These two modes include create a finisher and create a story, aka story designer. So let's go over create a finisher first. Now, I don't get why you guys, well, not you guys, this was from uh, THQ. Um, THQ took out. This dates back a long time. They took out Creative Finisher for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't even know why you guys took it out. It was a great feature. You could just chain together all these different types of moves. Like you could do like 12 punches and then a choke slam if you wanted. The creativity was amazing with this mode. Uh, Just bring it back man. Bring back Custom Finisher. It'll bring a lot of life to this game. And then like I said earlier the last creation suite that you guys need to bring back and this the last thing you guys haven't brought back is store designer aka create a story this personally is my favorite mode of all time okay for me it's kind of an unpopular opinion I have this mode over GM mode um, again I love GM mode but store designer tops it for me okay why you may ask because it's the most creative mode I've ever played okay I'll give you guys an example, okay? You see, I'm using, um, Ran I was using Randy Orton in this gameplay, okay? Here's where I reference real life for a sec. So I've been digging what Randy Orton's been doing with this character. Uh, he's been doing the Legend Killer gimmick. He's been bringing it back and hurting all these popular legends, like Edge, Christian, and The Big Show. I would like the opportunity to create this story in WWE 2K but I can't because we don't have story designer 2K you guys need to bring this back because number one it adds content to the game it adds just by adding this one mode alone okay um, this mode and GM mode 2 they add hours more to the gameplay you know what hours more equals equals a bigger lifespan and it equals people playing your game the whole year. Why do you think that players stop playing your game 2K, WB2K, after two weeks to a couple months, okay? Because some of my friends this year played for one week and then went back to 2K19 or they just moved on to another game. It's because you guys don't have any modes that bring longevity, okay? And those two modes that bring longevity to your game's life cycle are GM mode, which I talked about at the beginning of this video, and now I'm talking about story design, okay? And if you notice, uh, there's one thing that I didn't include in this list, and I know it's a fan favorite. You guys know Road to WrestleMania, right? Road to WrestleMania, one of the best modes of all time. I, I'm admitting, it's it's one of the best modes ever, right? Whoever, shout out to whoever created those storylines in Road to WrestleMania. I loved them. But here's the thing, okay? Why are you guys gonna ask 2K to create six or seven of their own storylines for Road to WrestleMania when if they had Sword Designer? You could literally create any road to WrestleMania you want, okay? And I've gone back the last couple of weeks and seen popular YouTubers like in the WWE community, like Tubby Emu and CM Pulse. I went back and started watching the stories they used to 
up uh, playing upload to YouTube. They used to play people's stories in 2K14 and WB13 and WB12, and I watched them. And I watched one of them. It was, the story was called Road to WrestleMania CM Punk. You see where I'm going with this? Why were you gonna ask 2K to create six or seven Road to WrestleMania storylines, which would take away again? It's a it's a mode that would take away from my gym universe and my career when all you need to do is bring back story designer and you can create any road to wrestlemania you want realistically let's say they bring back road to wrestlemania okay let's say they bring it back what storylines could they possibly do they'll probably do a roman reigns one they'll probably do a john cena one maybe a daniel bryan one and i was throwing around this idea a brand warfare type thing like in 2010 but except now you had NXT, Adam Cole the NXT champ, Drew McIntyre the WWE champ, and then Braun Strowman the Universal champ. And you have a triple threat at WrestleMania, I had that idea. But just think about it. Why are we going to ask 2K to create their storylines and take the time that it takes to create the game? And they're going to waste their time on Road to WrestleMania when they could easily just add Story Designer and we could create our own Road to WrestleManias. You want to go back and, uh, you could even go back and make an Attitude Era, Ruthless Aggression Era Road to WrestleMania with Story Designer. You want to go back and relive Stone Cold, or maybe create a different path? Like, for example, let's say you didn't turn heel in 2001. I could go to Story Designer, create a storyline for Stone Cold, and do his Road to WrestleMania, or in the Ruthless Aggression Era, do John Cena, Dr. Thugonomics Road to WrestleMania. For Ruthless Aggression Era. I'm telling you guys. It's all up here in my brain. Story Designer. Tops almost every mode. Because you can create and use it for every mode. Okay. And now here's another way people use it. Okay. All your favorite WWE 2K Universe Mode YouTubers. Like Dolzinski. Brendan Plays. Murphs. Matthew Wiz. They all play Universe Mode. Gordon Perkins. If you go back to back in the day like 12, 13, and 2K14, they used Story Designer in their universe mode so that they could avoid repetitive cutscenes. Nowadays, in 2K20 especially, all you get is the same cutscenes, okay? If we had Story Designer, you could just edit um, with your YouTube equipment and edit in the cutscenes in your universe mode. How much, how cool would that be? Like, come on, man. It would help out all your favorite WWE 2K creators. That's why it needs to return. And again, it brings longevity. And also, 2K, if you bring this back, I have a way that you guys can do it. Here's all you have to do, okay? You have you already have cutscenes in the game. You have create a video. First of all, create a video, by the way. that This is another thing I want. The cutscenes take too long to load. Um, it takes you like 10 minutes to make one video. It should take you 2-3 minutes max, okay? So bring all those creative video cutscenes, put them in Story Designer, and then go back to WWE 2K14 and download all that cutscene data, and bam, you have 500 cutscenes that can be used for us to create our own stories. It's not that hard, 2K. We need Story Designer back because it brings longevity. And again, it would help... All your favorite YouTubers. It would just make life a lot easier. And let them be downloadable for other people who aren't as good at telling stories. Um, because I, for one, I I wasn't able to play stories. Um, I wasn't able to play other people's and download stories back in the day. Because um, I didn't have online servers on my PS3. But now I'm on PS4 and now I definitely have online servers. So I could definitely upload stories and... Not to brag or anything, but I'm a very good storyteller, so I could make stories, and other people can play mine. And that's the thing, people who aren't good at telling stories can play other people's. But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I know this video is really long. Hopefully you got something to eat or a nice cold beverage to drink. Um, it's been your boy Nick Ruiz. Uh, what do you think? What's your wish list for WWE 2K22? Leave your comments in the comment section. Please like, comment, and sub if you're new. Please stay safe during this uh, COVID-19 time. Uh, if you know any 2K, WWE 2K devs, 
um, share this video with them if you want, um, but yeah, man, I'm out for now, peace.